So I've been sitting on this special news for quite a few months now and I've made little references to it through the other videos this year, but we can finally announce the really big news that Glassbrain has a new home. We're moving to a 134 acre National Trust farm on the cliffs above the Three Rivers Estuary near San Stefan, Parker Agloid Lords Park Farm. So I'll talk more in next month's video, in the December video, about our vision, about our plans for the place, about what it's gonna look like, and the whole story and process of how we ended up securing this amazing new opportunity and moving Glassbrain completely from here at Bronheil Farm over to Parker Agloid Lords Park Farm. But this month's video is about saying goodbye. So obviously this is an amazing opportunity, it's massive news, but there is a sad side to all of this and there's, there's a real letting go that has to happen because we do have to say goodbye to the site that we started on, the site where we put in our first roots as a sapling of a project, the place we've been working on with our volunteers, with our community for six years now, building soil, planting trees, creating infrastructure, growing loads of food for our VegBox members, teaching courses, so many memories, so many people, hundreds of people have had their hands in the soil, have been part of shaping it into what it is today. And you know, at what, what is now a, a mature, um, quite thriving ecological landscape of food where there's perennial tree crops, perennial vegetable crops intermixed with annual veg crops in a truly designed landscape that saves water, stores water, stores carbon, full of biodiversity, a real diversity of seeds in the seed bank in the soil diversity of flowers and plants and wildlife too. You know, there's so much habitat for different small animals, birds, insects, soil life. What we've created here together is a real thriving ecosystem. And so when people ask what's going to happen to the old site, well, the good news is, is that this being my family farm, my parents really want to use some of the site to grow veg for themselves. And then other parts of it, again, will just remain as, as thriving biodiverse, slightly rewilded ecosystems, you know, and there's nothing to be lost here because the work that we've put in, the disturbances that we've made on this space mean that now it will just go towards deeper and deeper complexity as an ecosystem. In that sense, there's, it doesn't feel like a, a loss of something. It doesn't feel like we will ever lose what we've done here, but there is a sadness, yeah, a bit of a letting go. And this is, an, you know, it's a, it's a good time of year to be doing this because this is a time of letting go anyway, seasonally. So the, the trees are letting go of their leaves and those leaves are sort of dying and decomposing to become the soil for the next season. And that's very much where we're at with the project right now is we're having to let go and let something end, let something die, or at least in the form that it was for new life to grow at Lords Park and the new, new phase, the new chapter of the project in 2024. And I guess this video is about saying goodbye. It's about paying tribute to all the people that have made this what it is all the stories we've told here, all the laughter, all the journeys people have been on as volunteers here, and also remember, have it on film forever so that we can always look back. And that's the beauty of these monthly videos that we've done with Jason over this year, is that we have this record of the final year of Glassbren at Bronheil, its original site, its original garden, the place we started, that we can always keep as a record of what we did in our first chapter as we move into our second.